I love the cooler months of the year because it really gives us a chance to bring out those soups and stews and showers we love so much. But why not take it to an extraordinary level by cooking with wine? Today we're using Dark Horse Chardonnay to add an extra layer of flavor to our smoky ham corn chowder. This wine showcases rich flavors of baked apple and pear, layered with toasted oak, notes of caramel, with lingering smooth finish. Even though we're cooking with the white wine, if you're a red wine fan, this dish can be enjoyed with the Alamos Malbec because of its smoky overtones. You'll love the flavors of dark cherry and blackberry flavors with a long lingering finish. So light that fireplace. We'll start by heating our pan over medium high heat for about one minute. Saute means to jump and you're not sauteing unless your pan is hot first. We'll add our oil to the pan, swirl the coat well, and we'll add our onions and our diced potatoes. And we'll give them a saute for two to three minutes. We're gonna add a pinch of salt and some fresh cracked pepper. And we're gonna add our diced ham, our chicken stock. Next, we'll add the Dark Horse Chardonnay wine. And we'll bring it together until it starts to simmer about two minutes. Now make sure you stir it well to knock those beautiful brown flavor bits off the bottom of the pan called fond before you add your milk, your whole kernel drained corn, and one can of cream corn. Now we'll let it simmer for about five minutes to get those potatoes cooked through. Then we're going to add our smoked Gouda cheese that we grated. If you don't want to use smoked Gouda, you can use some liquid smoke, maybe a tablespoon, and your favorite cheddar cheese. Now the cheese is melted in about one minute. We'll turn off the heat and let it rest for another three to four minutes. But what if you're a beer fan? I've got a couple of great beers to go with this dish. This Belgian-style wheat ale is brewed with real orange, lemon, and lime peels. And then they add a little coriander spice to the mix. It's award-winning, unfiltered to create a brew that's naturally cloudy and light golden color for a smooth, refreshing finish. Now this chowder is a little on the creamy side and we need something with a little bit of a bite to really cleanse the palate. For that, I recommend the Terrapin Hopsecutioner. This American India Pale Ale is light copper in color it has an aroma of fresh pine and citrus. A strong malt backbone provides balance and an assertive hot bitterness. And always with any good beer, you want to serve in glass to enjoy those beautiful aromas. Enjoy.